Hello, my name is James Regan, and I will be covering the SoBig.f malware. SoBig.f is a mass mailing, network aware worm. The worm works by in spreading itself through infected emails. It will attempt to infect files on the network. However, due to a bug in the worm's code, this feature does not work. The worm automatically deactivates itself after September 10th, 2003. However, some computers may still face this problem if their clock time and date is wrong. How does an infection start? The infection starts when a user receives an email containing an attachment. The email will instruct the user to open the attached file. If the user opens the attached file, the infection will begin. Now the infection has begun. The malware will first copy itself to the Windows directory. It will create two new registry keys, telling Windows to start the program when Windows boots. It will also search the user's computer for email addresses contained in these types of files. Finally, the malware will then spread itself to other computers, also enticing them to click on an infected file. The email sender address will be spoofed to match one of the emails found in those file types. This worm is unique in that it's one of the first pieces of malware that allowed the attacker to remotely control it and update it. The malware would automatically connect to several different IP addresses under the attacker's control. This would allow the attacker to remotely execute code on the user's computer and update the malware itself. What is the purpose of the malware? The malware would create an email relay server on a user's computer. This was used to send spam to different users. The author of the malware is unknown. However, it is suspected that the malware was written by Ruslan Ibrahimov. He was a creator of a spamming program known as SendSafe. The the email relay server set up by the malware could have been used as part of his service. Removing SoBig.f. In order to remove it, the first step is to disconnect the infected computer from the internet so that it does not get reinfected. The second step is to disable System Restore for Windows ME and XP. Next step is to start the computer in safe mode or end the Trojan process. Finally, run a system scan and remove all infected fi files. Now that the malware is gone, you can remove the registry key values it created, and the computer is clean. This concludes my presentation. Thank you very much.